Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. On today's video I will be sharing with you my top 10 holiday makeup releases from luxury brands. It was just so hard to narrow down to just 10 products from brands like Chanel, Dior, Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath. I mean I... <sighs> It was just hard enough to do these, so I I tried my best. There there are ten, there are ten, and perhaps just a couple honorable mentions. Don't judge me. It was just hard enough because you know, my friends, like all the holiday releases for the most part, they have been a little bit large. Just a few brands here and there. They were more like okay, a, a petite kind of holiday collection, but a lot of them they were like. <gasps> Here you go, this is holiday. And I know I I was thinking, I never announced that I was gonna do Vlogmas. I was thinking to do like 12 days of um, beauty or something along those lines, but I just have too much work. I just, I just can't, this is not my full-time job. I would love for this to become my full-time job, but it's not. So I said, you know what, regardless, here it is, the Christmas spirit. I have been working on my background. If you haven't watched my latest vlog, I think I uploaded it perhaps like a week ago. I show you how I was, I was like decorating this little tree. I do have my big, like huge Christmas tree <laughs> on my living room, but I needed it something a little bit small for this area right here and just try to decorate it. It's still, I'm still on, it's, it's in work in progress, but at least I hope that it puts you on that holiday spirit that we all love and cherish. Okay, my friends, let's go ahead and get it started. There's no ranking right here. It's just simply mentioning, I do have my preference though. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get it started with our darling, Charlotte Tilbury and her Holiday collection was not as massive as we're used to, which in a way I do appreciate. The first product has to be her Pillow Talk Beauty Fine Face Palette. You pick and choose whichever one you want, but this is the one that I have been going strong for. As you can tell, you cannot even read any more Pillow Talk in there. It is the blush that I'm using on my cheeks today. What a gorgeous, this is, I, I'm gonna say it again, but this is, signature Charlotte Tilbury. This is her Pillow Talk signature makeup look in a palette. You have it. The only thing, I mean, like, I know a lot of people say, but there is no bronzer. That is okay because bronzers, it's hard to nail a bronzer for different skin tones. So I really enjoy this palette because not only she's given us two gorgeous blushes, that they are on this baked gelée formula that they just melt on the skin. They are just stunning completely stunning but also she's giving us these two not truly really highlighters but luminizers that they just give the most beautiful glow from within natural you are so just you're just glowing truly glowing from within without adding more pigment more color to your look she just did a fantastic job and therefore this is my first product on this list. You pick and choose because there's the other palette. I have it somewhere here. I absolutely love it too, but I'm sure that one I will be using it more as we gear into spring, summertime because it has a little bit more of the peachy tones, which I love. But this one right here, I have been using it a lot because I don't have tan anymore and yeah, I'm looking, <laughs> I, I'm looking a little bit more pale. And because we're in the Charlotte Tilbury topic, um, definitely her pop shots. Oh my goodness. These babies are just fantastic. They are gorgeous. You pick and choose whichever shade you want. I really, truly enjoy that she brought us the typical, for example, this one is called Smoky Quartz, right? It's gorgeous, kind of wet type of eyeshadow, single eyeshadow. But also she brought us a duochrome for the first time. Duochrome, Charlotte Tilbury, what? No way. I know, I know. She was more adventurous. And green is in all, I mean like it's fashion right now to wear green, whether it is a bag, a night shadow, a blouse. I mean, you name it. Green shoes, right? It's all in she brought us these gorgeous emerald greens. I will highly suggest 
if you are applying these eyeshadows to apply it with your fingers because with a brush you have to have the right brush i like for example my smith 253 brush i'm looking right here because i have my table right here and it's a complete mess <laughs> also sonia g builder pro brush will pick up really well in these kind of eyeshadows if you want the full intensity as if applying it with your fingers then use them wet but these are just stunning i love also the little packaging i think they will make of the cutest and most beautiful stocking stuffers too or if you pair it with say the charlotte tilbury beautifying face palette you can just put it all together and create a little you know like charlotte tilbury gift oh just just incredible so okay that's the number two and now into the number three okay part of my graph Pat McGrath and not her big palette, no, this little one, this baby. This is called the Celestial Nirvana Eye Shadow Palette in Bronze Bliss. And the entire eyeshadow palette will give you the most extraordinary look, but I think she really did a stunning job with this shade in particular and the formulation that she's bringing on these palettes are just in another level it's something that i wish to see more on her eyeshadows look look at this wet look you see um, oh. <laughs> it's drooling and this shade is a shade that i have here on the middle of my eyelid the eyeshadow palette is stunning this is like more party look but what i also love about it is that you have these two kind of more bronzy tones that with just a simple bronzer that you put on your eyelid and then you just pop one of these shades it will create the most stunning look something more subdued you can use this shade right here and then if you want to go more boom if you're going for a holiday party then you use this middle shade the formulation right here is something that we haven't seen before from Parmagrath. Even the only matte eyeshadow on this palette is different. It's not as drying as her previous formulations from the Mothership palettes. But this particular shade in here has a formula that is just unique to this palette. And I think this palette is like 30 something dollars. Honestly, I, I don't remember, but it's, and we all know Parmagrath, she's having a sale right now too, so you can get it for. Pretty much nothing <laughs> not nothing but very you know very small amount that it will make such a beautiful gift a gift that is thoughtful and is it's just perfection okay that was the number three okay now let's go to the number four and it is by chanel and i have to give it to these beautiful luminizers again to me luminizers and this is the thing that i'm loving this year that brands are not I mean, I'm not saying like all of them, but most of them, they are not bringing us the traditional highlighters, the ones that they have, you know, a streak of product that they will just look so intense, but rather something that gives us that luminous aura glow effect that, you know, my face is just, it's just so healthy that that's why it's glowing. You know, I just age backwards, in other words, and this is what these kind of luminizers do. I will suggest you to, if you use a dense brush, it will give you, you know, not that beaming look, but it will be more concentrated. Well, if you use a very, I keep looking right here because I have my brushes right here, but also on top of it, I have my microphone. So if I move it, it's gonna be a disaster, but you can use like a very fluffy big brush and just, buff the perimeters of your face with it and use it as a finishing powder oh my goodness this is stunning i have both shades the one that i'm using more is or rose because again i'm at my playlist right now but as soon as as soon as summer hits you know that i'm gonna go with or dore okay warning number four number five. Oh my goodness number five okay let's talk about this brand that it is a luxury brand but and this is what i appreciate about this brand that they are not overwhelming us with so many releases and i'm talking about burberry very simple that your holiday collection was this eyeshadow palette in addition to lipsticks i pass on the lipsticks but i will never pass on a burberry eyeshadow palette because these eyeshadows they perform amazing they 
they're incredible. To me, they are the level, and I will say even a little bit beyond than Natasha Denona. Yes, I said it. They are soft. They are creamy. They are smooth. They are non-powdery. They, they are incredible. If you hear my stomach rumbling, I'm sorry, I'm so hungry. But look at these shades. You have a green. Then you have this kind of lilac -y rose tone. Then you have your matte shades. And then you have satin finishes. It looks boring, but wait and see and put it on your eyelids. <laughs> put it on your eyelids. You will be like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it down. I think this will be an incredible gift for someone because it does have your new tones, your neutral tones, but then it has some pop of shades and the creaminess of these eyeshadows. I mean, like you can even see, see the remaining on my, on my fingers. I don't know if the camera will be able to capture. There is some sort of emolliency in them that it makes it super easy to work with these eyeshadows. So Burberry, if you, I wish that this is limited edition. If this is still available, highly suggest you do not miss it out pick it up you thank me later that's all what i have to tell you thank me later okay we're, we're already past the number five. Oh my gosh oh my gosh oh five let's go for six i know i know this is just a little bit tough but let's go for dior okay dior and i will have to say the entire collection of dior fantastic absolutely fantastic but the eyeshadow queens, no image, no marketed image will make any justice to these queens. Not only the embossing is beautiful, but the color story, although they look boring, and I'm gonna include both of them, okay? Two for one, <laughs> two for one. Go and check my review. These will give you the most elegant, sophisticated look but non-boring. And this is the eyeshadow palette that I am using on my lids with the exception of that pop shade from Parmagraph. And this one is called Cosmic Eyes. Stunning, stunning palettes. This will take you all year round. This one as well. I mean, if you don't use the black shade, this will take you all year round. They are just extraordinary. The formulation from Dior, they are smooth, creamy, very very elegant looks that are just so easy 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 to achieve so okay this is the number six my gosh I, i'm just like uh, i i i need i need i need more <laughs> i we should have done top 15 because oh my gosh let's talk again about dior ah i think this is this is just something that i want to see every year Every year, maybe next year they will do a silver one because they already did the gold one that I have it right here. I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's right there. The gold one this year, they did the black one. This is the least expensive clutch that you can find from Dior. And it is stunning, beautiful, and it has four different lipsticks. Just, just perfection, just perfection. Look at this shade. I think this shade is a lot of fun. It's the perfect red shade look at that and then the embossing is gorgeous too and then you can use the whole case i mean it's a clutch it's a clutch if you haven't watched yet my video where i review this product alone i show you how to take off the insert and also the lipstick swatches i would highly suggest you to do so it even comes with a mirror i mean what else you can ask for i think your has done an extraordinary job on their holiday collection. I always see that extra effort from Dior on their holiday collection. Okay, friends, next, Valentino. Well, Valentino, if they have surprised me, this is their eye and cheek. Well, to me, it's more of a highlighter, but again, that beautiful formula that just creates a very soft, ethereal kind of shine to your cheeks. And the formulation from Valentino powders is just so fantastic because it blends everything seamlessly on your skin. They do have one of my favorite formulations in blushes, in bronzers, in highlighters, and the packaging is just, ooh, just simply, simply stunning. And then Hourglass have done an incredible job with their holiday face palettes, in particular, both Tiger and Elephant. 
love them both for different reasons. I think Elephant, it is the one more geared for those with light, light, medium skin tones. I love each single of these shades. The bronzer is a little bit too orangey for my skin tone, but I use it alongside with either the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Cream Bronzer or the Chanel Cream Bronzer, and then I go over top with that, and it just turns out beautifully. Love the blushes, but the palette is Tiger. This one doesn't only cater for those with deeper complexions because this one right here is a setting powder. Then you have your blushes too, your highlighters. Look at this deep, intense highlighter. This is exactly what we were looking for from Hourglass, but also going light-handed, it works fantastic for those of us with light, medium complexions in love. And then the powders from Hourglass, they are always so ethereal, so very well balanced, not too shiny, nothing glittery, very sophisticated. And absolutely love that they have gone with these very artistic teen palettes that you can actually customize them. That I think that is extraordinary because say if you are a lover of elephants but you like this color story, you can just customize it the way that you like it. And same thing with uh, one of the butterflies. You can customize them, all of them. Next time though, I wish that Hourglass will bring us customization but on individual shades. That... That will take them to another level. Let's move on to the next product, and it's by Shantekai. It is the finishing and setting powder that I'm using today. Is their Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. Don't be afraid. You see this glow that I have, this brightening effect underneath my eyes? It's because of this powder. It's just stunning. It does have this blurring effect. It's not a highlighter. It doesn't give you a satin finish. It just gives you some brightenings and it's a very special glow to your skin that I really, really appreciate. I mean, like, leave it to Shantekai to create these type of powders. Amazing. Also from their holiday collection. Okay, friends, and now let's go for the lipstick that I'm using today, and it is by Chanel Rose Mystery, and mm, I just love this shade. It's a shade that I can use it all year round. It's so gorgeous, so perfect, and a tie right here. Also from Chanel, it is the lipstick. This is in Rouge Allure Lestre. What's the name? I don't remember the name, but it's the most beautiful orange red lipstick that Chanel has come out in a long time. It's reddish, but it does have a little bit of orange into it. It's fire, it's gorgeous. Every time that I have worn it here on my channel, everybody's like, what are you wearing on your lips? What are you wearing on your lips? Because it's that, that good. From Clé de Paul, this beauty right here, this is the Lipstick in Cosmic Red. I truly love that it's not, it's not a red. It's like a coral pinky tone that is a little bit deep. It does have a little bit of warmth to it that just makes it a little bit more intense, more intriguing. It's just so beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And here it is something that I wanted to say. If I have to give an award of who has done the best the most gorgeous designs for their holiday collections in order of okay the first one will be dior dior the entire holiday collection it is a dream from like the way that they are doing their wrapping have you seen their wrapping let me show you this box look at this all your orders you will receive it like this ready to be gifted it, i mean like incredible and Absolutely everything. Holiday from Dior is stunning. In the second place, I will give it to Clé de Pop. They have done a fantastic job. The designer who has created all the design for this collection, honestly, did an incredible job. Each single item on this collection is, is as luxury. I mean, it's bold, luxury, beautiful. It's celebration. is holiday holiday done the right way and then in third place i will then have to give it to hourglass because although they don't feel as holiday holiday i think 
again, if another artist is expressing so much love for the animals, everything just looks so beautifully done. I think those will be like the my top three in terms of design in general. And here you have it, my friends. These are my top 10 plus a bonus here and there of the best holiday makeup releases. Not as an entire collection, but truly picking and choosing exactly the products that I will say these are completely worth to get during this holiday season. Okay, my friends, and now it is your turn. I want to hear from you. What are those products that to you, they land on this top 10 category that they just simply wow you or perhaps that you have them on your wish list. Not forget that all of the products that I spoke about today, they will be on the description box below with their links for your convenience. I know there's a lot of sales still going on right now, but I'm sure a lot of these products, they have great, great discounts. Okay, my friends, leave that comment and while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and if you are not done watching my content i will be leaving a couple other videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day Bye bye